I'm Katie Legrone. More fallout from Florida's newly adopted education standards for African American history. They include teaching students how some slaves benefited from the skills they learned while enslaved. I spent the day tracking the latest backlash, the state's response, and one lawmaker's call for Florida's education boss to step down. He is not going to rewrite and redefine black history, not while we're still alive. Outrage continued Monday over Florida's new standards for teaching black history. It's insulting, it's demeaning, it should not exist. The social studies curriculum approved by Florida's Board of Education last week was created for middle schoolers across the state. And while the new guidelines include teaching some of the harsh conditions slaves lived through, it also includes instruction on how slaves develop skills, which in some instances could be applied for their personal benefit. And it's insulting to imply that somehow that we have to be enslaved to mm. get any kind of skills. During a Monday morning Zoom, religious leaders, civil rights activists, and community organizers vowed to fight back through demonstrations, their own history teaching task force, new schools, and a new lawsuit against the state and the governor. Thank you. Who, during a presidential campaign stop in Utah over the weekend, appeared to try to distance himself from his home state's latest classroom controversy. I didn't do it, and I wasn't involved in it. Um, before quickly doubling down. Because I think that they're probably going to show um, some of the folks that eventually parlayed, uh, you know, being a blacksmith into into doing things later later in life. DeSantis's press team also striking back, tweeting out excerpts from a recent ABC News interview with Dr. William Allen, one of the members who served on Florida's African American History Standards Work Group and helped create the new standards. It was never said that slavery was beneficial to Africans. What was said, and anyone who reads this will see this with clarity, it is the case that Africans proved resourceful, resilient, and adaptive, and were able to develop skills and aptitudes which served to their benefit, both while enslaved and after enslavement. And to suggest somehow that resiliency, you can develop resiliency in a million ways. It doesn't have to involve the enslavement of Black bodies. House Minority Leader Fentrice Driscoll now calling for the resignation of Florida's Education Commissioner, a former Republican senator before Governor DeSantis appointed him education boss. And what they're suggesting is that look on the bright side of slavery. Ma'am, there is no bright side. On Friday, Commissioner Manny Diaz tweeted that Florida is focused on teaching true and accurate African-American history. As for calls for his resignation, neither Diaz nor the Department of Education have responded as of Monday afternoon. I'm Katie Legrone reporting.